Now, the big thing coming this month is my wife. Yikes. Thanks for the money, dummies. <laughs> band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. Bounce, bounce. I'm actually a virgin. <gasps> Fucking piece of garbage disc. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome to my annual Super Saturday Bash. That's right, it's time to grab your officially sponsored NFL footballs, your crazy NFL football helmets, and shove your hand firmly into your giant oversized foam fingers. Cause it's time for a marathon today on DSP Gaming. <laughs> what a view, huh? As people saying you need the beer helmet. This is the beer helmet without the beer attachments because they were terrible. After I tried to drink beer out of this helmet last year, the entire thing leaked like crazy. So I just ripped those pieces off and threw them out. And now here we are a year later, the Super Bowl, and we're gonna have a fun marathon event here on the channel. Yeah, I know. Carlton Jr. says, I wish that the cups and straws attached to this helmet last year weren't trash. It was bad. It was leaking everywhere. At the end of the stream, I threw threw this in my bathtub and I ripped all the shit out of it <laughs> and threw all those out. By the way, this thing was fucking expensive. This thing was like 50 bucks and it's a piece of junk. What the hell, man? Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get all this crap off of me for now. I can't even hear anything when I wear that helmet. It freaks me out. Anyway, I hope that everyone is in a good mood and ready for some antics today here on DSP Gaming. It is marathon time. As you know, I'm a huge fan of football. Not really, but it's perfect for getting money. We're here to play some football, or are we? You know, I haven't done any special events this year. This is the first one to kick stuff off. What did we got in store here today? Let's talk a little bit about that, shall we? First of all, there's gonna be booze. Oh, yes indeed. Now, I'm not drinking yet because I feel like it should at least be 11 a.m. before I have a first alcoholic beverage of the day. But I have several different things I can drink today, including Long Island iced tea, rum punch, the leftover beers from last year. Yes, I'm not kidding you. The beers that I had drinking out of this helmet a year ago, I still have three of them in the back of my fridge. I found them the other day. I was like, holy shit, I still have these. I'll drink them today. Yes, I'm gonna drink a year old beer. I need to get them out of my fridge today. And I got some tequila. If we want to do shots or something later, and I'm going to be sipping on some of that stuff pretty much all day long. No, I'm not an alcoholic. Food. My wife's going to be making food three different times today. First, she's going to make these things called pizza bombs. or They're little dough balls, and inside you bake like mozzarella, and you put seasonings and Parmesan cheese on top, and you dip them in marinara sauce. So that's going to be like the first party-style snack that we're going to have. Then for dinner, she's going to make homemade quesadillas. But then, later today, she's going to make a six-layer dip. Beans and olives and, and all kinds of ingredients. So it's basically all party foods all day long while we party together. And the question is, well, what are we going to be doing outside of eating and drinking? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> The only other thing absolutely locked in is we're gonna do some Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth today. If there was a day that was pertinent to do it, today would be the day, correct? We need to get Don Doko unlocked as soon as possible so my wife and I can start doing co-op streams of it. Now we're gonna do it all the time, probably at least once a week. If it's well received, then we'll do it maybe more than once a week if people like it that much. Again, it really depends how well received it is. If you guys like it and you wanna see the co-op maybe twice a week, we'd be willing to do that, but we wanna see money, okay? Now, that's not going to be the whole marathon. If I'm streaming all day, I'm going to be streaming all the way through to like 8 p.m. So you might say, well, what else are we going to do? Okay, here we go. We are going to run around stabbing people. That's a little weird. We can play some Power World. Power World is chill fun. Three days later. Tonight's night stream was Power World, and I was bored. People stopped talking. People stopped engaging. People literally just su stopped supporting at one point. It was dead. The gimmick wore out. If we're going to retire Power World, now will be the time. But I think it's time to retire it. Oh, no. And we're going to simulate the Super Bowl. So we got a lot going on today. Cool stuff. We are going to do a poll here live on the stream where you guys are going to vote. What do you want to see first? And depending on what you vote for first, that's actually what we're going to do first. Okay? 
Uh, but I'm excited. I think this is going to be a nice relaxing day. Doing some kind of crazy fundraiser goal. $1.5 billion. That's the whole goal today. And actually, I have two other football jerseys that I'm going to be changing into at various parts of the day. Can I switch jerseys on camera? No, I'm not going to show off my body on camera. There's someone who does that regularly. His name's Review Tech USA. You can go check him out if you want to see like a big, bulbous, white guy, hairy guy shirtless. He does it for money. I put clothes on for money. I do the opposite. You ever wonder where these came from? I've explained this story before, but I'll tell you again. When I was younger, much younger, I used to travel and go to Street Fighter tournaments. People knew who I was online, but they didn't know who I was in person. No one knew what you looked like. So I bought three NFL replica jerseys. Look, they're officially licensed by the NFL. Okay? I just wanted to have jerseys that I could, like, wear to tournaments so people would know who I was. Because it says Dark Side on the back, so you can't really confuse who I am, right? They actually say Dark Side on the back. See that? No, not Dork Side. Dark Side. Not everyone knows who I am, so I don't need to wear them anymore. These hung in my closet from the early 2000s, and then last year, I was like, hey, I could actually wear these for this event. It makes sense for me to finally wear them. Finally, they kind of have a use, and if you guys like this event, we could do this annually. So we'll see what you, how you, what you think. If you like it and you like the randomness of it, I like the randomness of it. I like drinking. <laughs> here we go. So, within a few minutes here, I'll do a poll, and you guys can start voting on what you want to see first. Now, the only one thing I will say before we begin, as you all know, this last month has been very, very rough. Financially behind the scenes, I've done absolutely nothing different or wrong, and I lost a ton of money. Why? Because trolls came in and basically gave out so many fake memberships that people who normally would have become a member didn't do it. They already had it for free. And because of that, I lost a ton of revenue. This sucks. When I get paid, I'm going to be down over a thousand dollars this month that normally I would make. This is going to significantly hurt my business. Today would be a great day if you like the content and you like the whole fun vibe of the event. Please support today's stream. How? Anything is appreciated. But today particularly if you wanted to help me in the short term, tipping would be great because tips I get right away it would help with the reduced income that I'm going to get from YouTube. Okay? So please consider it. Today particularly would be a great day for that. You're a liar. You're disrespectful to your audience and you're a clickbait content creator who doesn't deserve the time of day from any viewers ever again. You are greedy. Fuck you. No one fucking ever holds this guy accountable for anything he does. Now, here's the thing. We are not going to be doing goals. Why? Because I'm already going to be in attire. No, we're not going to do hats and we're not going to be doing vests over jerseys and things like that. That'd be pretty stupid. We're just rolling with the fun stuff that I'm already doing. Also, no, I don't have any plans like, oh, if someone tips $100, Phil will take a shot. No. The whole idea is... I'll be drinking kind of all day. So there you go. So that's what we're doing today. So now let's get to yesterday. What did we do yesterday and how did it go? Well, yesterday, my wife fucking choked. That was fun. Then last night, I'll be honest with you, I walked back and forth in front of the house in like blackface, goose stepping. I would believe that. Now, by the way, guys, yes, today, you know, there's going to be lots of fake memberships gifted to the channel. Here's how you stop the spam. When you see it pop up, it says, oh, someone's gifting a bomb member bomb of bullshit. You click on it and it should either say remove or block, whatever those are. Boom, gone. They're gone. And your chat is no longer spam. So if these idiots do it today, I don't even see anything. Click block, done. And don't have to worry about these idiots. Give them absolutely no attention because they don't deserve any. We all should just have a good time together and ignore them, okay? Now, one week from tomorrow is going to be our next Retro React stream event over on DSP Throwback. I did a couple Retro React streams over there where I did live commentary over my old gameplay. And it's a hit. People love it. They watch the videos after the fact. So it's kind of a shoe in that I continue this content. Every other week, I'm going to do one of these streams. So next weekend will be the next one. And the options will be as follows. Heavy Rain, the original run from 2010. All right, nigga, it's time. To, or Bully, the original run from 2013. Oh, fuck me. Wrong, moron. Absolutely wrong. We're a fucking idiot. So, there you go. I'm very excited. I think that'll be a really fun one. And I hope that if you guys are enjoying the content on the Throwback channel, please consider supporting it in some way. Right now, I'm not exaggerating. I make about a dollar a day on ads. One dollar. So, please consider heading over there. And if you like the content, maybe do a super thanks on a video. Hey, if you have YouTube Premium and you watch those videos, I get credit for the ads. Consider that. You could always leave a tip over there. And I do have an update. Ladies and gentlemen, it took 30 days... But after 30 days of me disputing copyright claims on those videos, Final Fantasy 13 is officially my property. Square Enix has no claim to the Final Fantasy 13 whatsoever. So now, any ad revenue or views on those videos, I get credit for, all right? Thank you in advance to anyone over there 
who watches anything, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right, so that's that. I think we covered everything that I wanted to talk about. I would like to do a little bit of game news today. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for DSP News. Here we go. So, first of all, I don't know if you guys heard about this. Disney, yes, the company Disney, Mickey Mouse, has struck a deal with DSP Throwback. But listen to this. Disney has invested $1.5 billion dollars for ESP throwback to make retro react streams. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that's a good business decision. What the fuck are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense at all. Holy shit. That's insane. People invested thousands of dollars in this and then it was trash. That's story number one. Oh, uh, we got another story going on. I don't know if you guys heard about this one. As we all know, Microsoft has completed their acquisition of Activision Blizzard. And then it was announced they were cutting 1,900 jobs. The whole California studio has been closed. Everyone's done. The FTC is now saying they're going to launch an investigation because during the whole process of Microsoft buying out Activision Blizzard, one of the big promises that they had to these regulatory bodies was, we're not going to affect what they're doing over there. We're not going to come in and do sweeping changes. Immediately, they buy them out, and within a few months, they're sweeping changes. So they basically lied under oath. Personally, my take is this simple. That's just fucking evil. This is why I lost my job at the helicopter company. When I started working at that helicopter company, they had just been bought out by a company called Sikorsky Aircraft. Then within three, four years of me working there, they came in with giant swooping changes. New people in charge were Sikorsky people. They redesigned the whole company. And the next thing you know, cutting jobs, cutting jobs, cutting jobs. So does it really benefit for any company to really be bought out by a bigger company? Or is it always going to result in downgrading, downscaling, and people losing their livelihood? Doesn't sound very great, does it? Certainly doesn't sound like the American way or the American dream where people bust their ass and get rewarded for hard work. You're just ex disp expendable no matter what. Uh, here's an interesting one. Ubisoft CEO Yves Gamer has come out. I just... <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand it at all. I I'm at a loss. I don't get it. I think the guy's a jackass. Anyway, here's the final story for today. If you guys remember last week, there were rumors that Xbox was now going to port all of their exclusive games to other consoles. Everyone was making these articles. Xbox is ending. No more Xbox console. Xbox logo on fire. Nuclear bombs exploding. The sky is falling. Burning Xbox logo expose streams. Xbox is ending. Xbox, Xbox, right? Bullshit. A company like Xbox doesn't buy Activision Blizzard to then get out of the console game. But no one said it. Someone just made it up. Everyone on the internet ran with it because people are drama queens who want clickbait views. People got hundreds of thousands to millions of views on videos about this topic and it had zero substantiation whatsoever. Phil Spencer, the CEO of Xbox Gaming, came out and said, next week I'm going to do an official announcement to set the record straight about all of this. But what's funny is the people who claimed that they had sources saying this now have all backpedaled. Uh, I guess those sources weren't really real, so sorry about that. Wait, what? You made it up. So everyone gets clickbait. Everyone makes ad revenue. It's all bullshit. This is rumor mongering. This is the worst kind of journalism. Let's make shit up to get clickbait. Okay, that's all I wanted to talk about today, folks. So now, let's go ahead and do shoutouts. We start off today with Demon in the Corner, two months as a member. Are you shouting out King Cobra? I don't know anything about this different stuff. I don't know what KCJFS stands for. Is that King Cobra or whatever? He says he broke a dry spell. That's what I want to do with my wife, Kat. There are openings, but you need to know where those openings are. It's very confusing, okay? She knows the mechanics because she's already done it. So she's going to help to instruct me on how everything works. And I'm excited for that. Someone is claiming that they tried to get unbanned for months and didn't get unbanned. Uh, I don't know who you are. Tons of people have been banned from this channel. Did you email my email, darksidefillahotmail.com? Did you explain your situation? Did you send me the link to your channel? I don't know anything about this. So I don't know why you can't get unbanned. First contribution of the day, tips-wise... A $50 tip from One Minute Man, and he's talking all about Baldur's Gate 3. He says, this is off topic. I know it is, One Minute Man. We're not doing Baldur's Gate 3 again. You can stop asking for it right now. It ain't happening. So, <laughs> I just kind of shrug. Okay. I received a $3 tip from Kirk Reborn, who says, I'm in Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. Is that where it is this year? I didn't even know that it was in Las Vegas. <laughs> 
cool. All right, so that's the shout-outs we got so far. Tag me in the chat. We'll do a little bit of Q&A and chill. Jade says, I love the NFL, but I'm not a big fan of the Super Bowl. WrestleMania is my Super Bowl. I don't even know what that is. I have no clue. Did I ever play tackle football? No. I used to play flag football with my friends. That all went away when my, I got my back injury. I couldn't do that kind of shit anymore, which really sucked. Did I play football in college? No, I played no sports. In elementary school, my school actually had a basketball team. And the funny part about it was I had a basketball hoop when I was a kid, so I could shoot, and I was actually good at it. You wanna know what I was terrible at? Dribbling. I couldn't dribble the ball to save my life. But I went to the tryout for basketball. They say, okay, stand at the free throw line and just take free throw shots. I got nine in a row. I was just like, zoop, zoop. And the coach was like, whoa, this is cool. And they're like, okay, part two, dribble. And I was like, duh, 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 duh. and you could tell how disappointed he was because he was like, oh man, he was going to be really good. And then he watched me try to dribble. He was like, wow, you suck. <laughs> and I didn't make the team. What a shocker, right? Amplatory, I already explained the food three times, man. Why are you asking me again? <laughs> Literally just explained it like three times. Amplatory, here's what I need you to do. I need you to take your finger and I need to put it in your ear and get the wax out. Get the wax out of your ear because I already said it multiple times. Take this and stick it right in there. <laughs> okay. Any last minute thoughts, anyone? Anything you want to talk about? No contributions to shout out right now, so. Derek, sure, you can come. Yes. Why would I do Street Fighter? I played Street Fighter for seven and a half months straight. I'm glad to not be playing Street Fighter right now. Why would I play Street Fighter today? I'd much rather play Tekken. When will we get Fightcade? I have no idea. We're not going to be doing Fightcade when there's high profile brand new fighting games out. All right, Derek, I'll see you later. No, I already said I've never been to an NFL game. The only professional sports games I've ever been to were uh, uh, baseball, which is uh, what is baseball's abbreviation? I can't even remember. I, can't, I seriously can't remember baseball's fucking three letters. I can't remember what it is. I, I, I like baseball. Pizza Box Gaming did another super chat. Why do you think 3D fighters have fallen so much in modern times? Tekken is seemingly the only one still going. They never were popular, though. You have to understand that. I think a lot of people just forget that. Am I a fan of OJ Simpson and do I think he did it? Do I think he did it? You know, I don't really care. Uh, a lot of people say that there's been so much overwhelming evidence over the years that yes, he probably did do it, but I don't really give a shit. Cat's anniversary. Jade, what does that even mean? Are you talking about our wedding anniversary on April 10th? Is that what you're talking about? You realize that anniversary and cat's anniversary are not our wedding anniversary. Well, what are you saying? <laughs> what the heck are you trying to say? What is my favorite pretzel shape? Traditional or rods? Uh, I'll go with traditional. It's a very important choice. No, there are not ads every three minutes. You're a liar, Demolition Daddy, and I don't appreciate that. I purposefully checked. I made sure it was aggressive ads today, so I double and triple checked to make sure that there were too many ads. After extensive decades of research, we have now found out that at least two people a year receive minor injuries from excessive use with cotton swabs. And those are unacceptable numbers. How do you clean out your ears without injuring them? Well, folks, the wax vac. Three, two, one, suck. Oh my God, oh, ah. No, you cannot adjust the actual frequency of ads. YouTube has three settings. Conservative, lower earnings potential, less interruption viewer experience if you set it to that you barely get any ads at all balanced which is middle of the road medium earning potential balanced viewer experience now aggressive says higher earning potential more interruption viewing experience so i always try to put it on aggressive i want to bombard those of you who don't have youtube premium or a good ad block would i replay resident evil 7 again i don't know I'm being asked, did I ever throw a football? Of course I did. It's actually quite easy. All you got to do is as you're throwing the football and you're moving forward, you add a little bit of spin to your wrist and it actually makes it spiral. It's, that's what these are for. You ever wonder what the laces are for? And you throw, it gives you extra grip and it allows you to get that torque, that spin when you toss it. Anyway, well, it looks like Tekken has won the first poll. We'll do that first. And in fact, what I'll probably do now is end the show and head downstairs and grab a beer. All right, let's get this marathon started. They, this game is designed so poorly, it's ridiculous. I just want to fucking play multiplayer, and I got to sit here and go through 14 menus and watch your cutscene. No one cares. <laughs> no one cares about your bullshit. You're terrible. It's fucking awful game design. Modern game design is atrocious, man. Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for my Super Bowl bash. It certainly didn't go exactly according to plan, I made it basically as much as I make in a normal day. 
I didn't make a dollar extra. If you add the two streams together that I normally would do, yeah, I pretty much was on par with a regular day. Basically, at this point, I did some math and I said, yeah, I'm down around $1,600 this month. Would it have been nice to have gotten, you know, some extra to help make up for the gifted memberships that aren't counting anymore because they're fake? I'm not getting paid for them. Would it have been nice to make up some extra for that? Yeah, that's all I care about. It's the end of the world. Peace out, everyone. Have a good night. I came right here on this very show. I don't see the problem with that.